Hi guys, I'm Shubham from WebsiteLearners.com. Today, I'll be showing you how you can move your blogger site to WordPress. Now, if you already have an existing blogger site and want to move to WordPress, then this video is for you. So why move to WordPress? Even though it takes a lot more time to set up WordPress, you can still do a lot more with it than Blogger. For example, there is something called as plugins in WordPress, which helps you to add new features to your website. So let's say you want to add a live chat to your site. You can do that just by installing a plugin in WordPress. And finally, WordPress also helps you to build your own website just like this by using drag and drop. So make sure you watch this video till the end to see how you can do it. So now let's take a look at the blogger site. So this is the blog which I built on blogger. Now to move this blogger site to WordPress, we're going to do three things. First, we're going to save the contents of this blogger site into a file. Then in step two, we're going to launch a new WordPress site. And then finally, we'll import the blogger content into WordPress. Okay, so let's get started. The first step is to save our blog's content into a file. So to save the blog's content, let's go to a blogger dashboard. Now make sure that your blog is selected here and then go into settings and go into other. Now click backup content and save to your computer. So now you can see that we have downloaded our blog content in this file. So next let's go to step two, which is to launch a new WordPress site. So to launch a new WordPress site, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page. So to launch a new WordPress site, we're going to do three things. First, we're going to choose a name for our website. So you can choose any name you want. So I'm going to type my name here. So I'm going to type totaltechie.com and then click check availability. You can see that the name is available. So once you get the name, we need to then buy that name and get a hosting account. So to get hosting a domain, let's scroll down and click get hosting. Now this will take you to godaddy.com where we're going to buy the hosting. So let's click get started. Now enter the same name that you chose and click search. Then click select and continue. And now it will take you to this cart page. So you can see that we're getting a domain and our hosting. Both of these are going to be valid for one year. So to complete the purchase, let's click register. And I'll quickly fill up these details and click create account. Now click add payment and choose your payment method. Enter the details and click next. Now click complete to make the payment. And it's done. Okay, so now we have completed the payment and we have got a domain and hosting. Which means we can now install WordPress. Okay, so to install WordPress, let's click add site. And click get started. Now just select the domain you have purchased and click next. Then again next. And now you need to enter a username and password for WordPress. This will be used when you log into WordPress. So I'm going to type my name and the password and then click install. Okay, so we have now installed WordPress. So let's click get started. Now we'll skip this by clicking no thanks and okay. Okay, so now we have reached our WordPress dashboard. This is the place from where you can control your website. Now, if you want to come to this page again, you just have to enter slash login after your domain name and it'll take you to your dashboard. So once you reach this page, your new WordPress site should be live. So to check that, let's go to our domain name, which is totaltechie.com and press enter. And as you can see, our website is now running. 
So now we have launched a new WordPress site, which means we can go to step three, which is to bring in the blogger content into WordPress. So to import a blogger content, let's go to WordPress and then go to tools and click import. So now as we are going to import the blogger content, let's click install now next to blogger and then click run importer. Now let's choose the file which we want to import. So just select the file which you downloaded from blogger in step one and click upload file and import. Now click submit to start the import. And all the bloggers content will be imported into WordPress. So now let's take a look at our site. So now if you scroll down, you can see that all our content has been imported from blogger. Right now we have this default WordPress theme. So next we'll quickly change this theme so that our site looks better. So to change the theme, we'll go here and click themes. And you'll see the default themes which are available on your site. But we're going to add a new one by clicking add new and then go into popular and choose any theme you want from here. So I'm going to choose this theme. Just click install to get the theme into your site. And then click activate to apply that theme. So now we have changed our website's theme. So let's see how our site looks now. So let's go back to our site. And this was our old design. So now let's click refresh. And as you can see, our website's design has changed. Okay, so we saw how we can import the blogger content and change the design of our website. So now we can go to the final step, which is to get our old blogger links working. So by doing this, when people go to your old link, it'll redirect them to the same blog post on the new WordPress site. So this will ensure that people are still able to access your site through the old links. Your old links will still work and bring people to the same post which are now on WordPress. So this will also help you to keep your Google rankings that you have gained on your blogger blog. So to get the old links working, we're going to do two things. First, we're going to change the settings in WordPress to match a new website links with the blogger links. So to change the settings, let's go to our dashboard and click settings. Now first we'll change the time zone here. So choose your location and click save. Now go to permalinks and choose month and name as this is the format which blogger uses and we want to match with that. And then click save changes. Okay, so now we are done with the settings part. Next, let's install the WordPress plugin, which will redirect our old blogger links to a new site, totaltechie.com. So to install the plugin, let's go to our dashboard and then go to plugins and click add new. Now search for blogger to WordPress. And install this plugin. So let's click install and then activate. Okay, so the plugin is now installed on a site. Now to set it up, let's go to tools and then click blogger to WordPress redirection. Now let's click start configuration and it'll show you the blogger site which I've imported into WordPress. So we'll click get code button next to it. And it'll show you something like this. Now to set up the redirection, we need to add this code into blogger so that it can redirect the visitors to a new website. 
So to enable the redirection, let's select and copy this code. And then go to Blogger. And go to Theme. Then scroll down. And click Revert to Classic Themes. And click Revert. Now this is where we are going to enter a new code. So let's select everything and delete it. And now paste the code which you copied from the WordPress plugin. Then click Save Theme. Okay, so now we have set up the redirection. And your old Blogspot links will now redirect to your new domain. So now let's check if the redirection is working. So let's go to the old Blogspot URL, which is totaltechie.blogspot.in and press enter. So you can see that it now redirects to a new website, which is totaltechie.com. So now if someone tries to visit your post through the old link, it will take them to the same post on the new website. This means that you'll keep all your existing traffic. So that's it guys. This is how you can move from Blogger to WordPress. Now, if you want to start moving your site, just click here. It'll take you to the page where you can get your domain and install WordPress. Now to see how you can build your website using drag and drop, you can watch this video. So let me know if this worked for you in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.